Hey YouTube, Savon Draws here. I'm just here to tell you guys an update real quick today. So as you can see, Toon Squid 2.0 is currently being worked on. And right now we have a Toon Squid 2.0 closed beta. As we can see from the developer K Wando, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. My apologies if I'm butchering it. He says, for the past few months, I've been working on the next major update for Toon Squid, and I'm excited to announce that the closed beta testing phase for Toon Squid 2.0 has started. Beta testers can now get early access to the new features and improvements that are coming to Toon Squid and can provide their feedback to ensure that the app is stable and works as expected before the public release. If you are interested in trying the beta version and providing your feedback, please take a look at this page for more info. So that means you guys can sign up for the beta and if you get accepted into the test flight, you'll be free to use it. So real quick, I'm gonna take you through my favorite additions that are being discussed for Toon Squid 2.0 right now. So for one, I love the all of the effects because that's basically bringing in what we see with Procreate Dreams where we can edit a bunch of different effects onto our animations and directly get kind of like after effects like quality in our animations without having to go into a different animation app and edit what we've already made. I love to just stick with one program and not have to continuously export and import my animations all over the place. It makes it much more intuitive if we can do everything in what in one program and i think despite procreate dreams being very behind the curve in its tools i think it's actually pretty revolutionary that it has all those effects that we can use in there the only other app that i've seen like that is probably blender or open tunes Another thing I like is that he's improving the vector tools in Toon Squid because I like the fact that we have vector, but I feel like there is so much room for improvement in Toon Squid. So for one, the fact that we can use vector trimming is great. So if you don't know what vector trimming is, I, I'm assuming this is how it's going to work in Toon Squid. And a lot of apps, if you cross two vector lines, you can just use a trim tool to cut wherever the lines cross. So let's say you you're drawing something and you draw outside of the lines a little bit. You can just get rid of the lines that are messing up your drawing and easily correct it without having to use an eraser tool or anything like that. Also, I like the fact that we can just move every individual vector line that we make now because that would be great for once again, editing our lines quickly without having to redraw because the fact is we're, <laughs> we're not that precise with our hands. I also like the fact that we can create loops directly in the timeline now without moving the drawings into a symbol. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Like we want to be able to loop our animations in an easy manner. Onion skins are now only displayed for the selected animation layer by default. That would be very great for like not being as confused when you're working with different layers. Inputs for entering the exact brush size and strength directly is also good because of course it's animation. So if the more precise you could get, the better rather than having to slide around <laughs> super, super carefully just to get the size that you want. I also think it's pretty important that we have canvas flip buttons that can be easily used, you know, just because you might have to continuously flip your drawings just to make sure they look good on the other side. Then a second tap on the selection tool button automatically selects all layer contents. I think that's a pretty good gesture. I do constantly select everything on the screen and it's faster to do that than select one thing with a lasso when you're animating a lot of the time. So I'll just go through the fact for you guys real quick. So how can I join beta testing? You just submit a link, it's a Google form. When is the public release date? There is neither a fixed release date nor an estimate for a release window. The update will be released whenever the currently known and newly reported issues are resolved and all other work for the release is done. So what new features will we be having in Toon, Point, Toon Squid 2.0? 
So for effects, we're going to have bones with inverse kinematics, Gaussian blur, animatable perspective and warp, animatable custom mesh, parallax, drop shadow, chroma key, pixelate, hue, saturation, and brightness adjustments, sharpness, halftone, property noise, orient a layer along its motion path, and spin. And for vector, we have SVG import, vector layers that have been replaced with groups containing path layers. Vector brush strokes can now be selected individually and edited using the path tool. The eraser tool, fill tool, smudge tool, and selection cut and paste now work with path layers. Path layers now support multiple subpaths, so you can create holes and shapes. The selection tool can, can be used to select multiple vector control points, which can then be transformed with the transform tool. A new default vector fill tool mode that recolors existing shapes instead of always adding new shapes. New vector brushes that generate stroke paths instead of filled shapes and vector trimming. And for general, we have animatable transform properties for group layers. Create loops in the timeline without moving the drawings into assemble. Loop keyframes. Insert loop keyframes with frame markers. The edit pixels and edit path mode have been removed from the transform tool to avoid common confusion. Manually create a selection with the selection tool first to transform the pixels of pixel layer or control points of a path layer. A second tap on the selection tool button automatically selects all layer contents. Keyframes on the first frames can now be deleted. Drag and drop assets from other apps into ToonSquid. Onion skins are now only displayed for the selected animation layer by default. Looped onion skins. Choose the default easing curve for new keyframes. A new image sequence export mode to export all individual drawings. A new setting to prevent the add drawings and duplicate buttons from splitting the current drawing. A new setting to hide the layer motion path. A new button for quickly resetting the position of unintentionally shifted pixel layers. Inputs for the exact brush size and strength directly. Added canvas flip buttons to the editor actions popover. Full screen mode to hide all of the UI performance improvements. So yeah, I think all these changes sound great. And if you guys are interested, you should definitely go sign up for the Tune Squid beta and see if you get in. Good luck. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like and subscribe.